Hi guys, well since I haven't updated on my tanks in two weeks or something like that, I thought I'd do an update video. So since it's right on my desk here, I thought I'd start with my six gallon tall. This is my water wisteria. As you can probably see, I recently gave it a trim. The clipping went right back into the tank and is coming along nicely. I'm trying to create a bushy corner in here for a little hiding spot since the tank lacks caves. This is my tissue cultured Rotala rotundifolia. It's still small and growing slower compared to the wisteria that's well established, but I have high hopes that once it gets settled in properly that I'll have a nice little corner in here. I want to put a carpet of something in here, but I'm not sure what. Any suggestions would be awesome. As for livestock, I'm thinking either a single pea puffer or a handful of shrimp. Depends on what I'm going to do with my 10 gallon, I suppose. Oh, I nearly forgot about the bamboo in the back compartment of my 6 gallon. Isn't it cute? So here's my 10 gallon tank. And my little buddy Blue. He's a neon blue dwarf Garami. Look at him, he's begging for food. Or maybe he's saying hi. Let's pretend he's saying hi. There goes Happy the Platy. Look at him go. Uh, the moth in here isn't looking too good though. But at least the Java Fern and Wisteria are doing alright. I'm starting to get a black beard algae issue in here though. I think I'm gonna have to start trimming some leaves and cutting back on the nutrients. So here is the 10 gallon quarantine tank, which is currently housing my seven new neon dwarf rainbows. Oh my god, can I just say these are the cutest little things. Currently, I have four females and three males, which I think is a good ratio. I am so looking forward to having these little guys in my 40 gallon long. It'll be so fun to see them swimming in that big space. Look guys, it's Finley, my bristlenose bucko. I hardly see him because he likes to hide under the stump all the time. Hi Finley. So this is my 40 gallon long, and that java fern looks really good, it's a trident variant. And um, I think this crypt parva is growing nice, slowly but steadily. This crypt wenty is just getting new leaves all over the place. I must be doing something right. Wow, it's gotten so bushy. Looks like some bugger's been pulling up some plants. Oh well, it's not like these Crypt Parver were doing that well over here anyway. I think I might end up pulling them out and moving them over with the rest of them. That's Sam, my female longfin peppered Corydoras. And right beside her, some tissue cultured Rotala rotundifolia, as well as some wisteria clippings. Now I'm not sure if this Rotala is doing that well. I think the light on my tank might be a bit too dim for it, so I'm thinking about ordering another light and seeing how it goes from there. And there's Sai, my Siamese algae eater. To be honest, I don't know what kind of moss this is. It's the same moss that's in my 10 gallon tank, 
but for some reason it seems to be doing better in here than in my 10 gallon. Oh well, as long as it's happy. This is my Anubius Nana, and ever since I've moved it from my 10 gallon into here, its leaves have gotten greener, as well as the rate of new leaves have gone up. I'm so excited to see how well it'll continue to grow in here. This dwarf Sagittaria along the back here is growing in slowly. I'm hoping it'll kick into gear after I get the new lights I was talking about before. If not, I might move it into a different tank and put in some jungle val here. We'll see. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you during my next video. Toodles!